The Minister of the Council of Indigenous Peoples, Yi Chang Parud, has spoken out to trumpet the Council's achievements since President Tsai Ing-wen took office, promoting indigenous languages, decriminalizing hunting and improving services for the elderly in indigenous communities are some reasons younger indigenous people are moving back to their home villages, Yi Chang says. Let's take a look at some of the changes in Taiwan's indigenous tribes at the midway point of the Tsai administration. Promoting indigenous languages and amending the Wildlife Conservation Act to decriminalize hunting and fishing by indigenous peoples. These are two highlights of the last four years' indigenous policy. It seems that these mountains are not ours anymore. It seems like we'll have to meet our ancestral spirits in secret, which will be pretty tricky. Alongside cultural preservation, land justice is another key point in the Tsai government's policy. The council says it's worked to improve the lives of indigenous senior citizens as part of the long-term care 2.0 plan. Every Monday to Friday, more than 13,000 seniors receive care from care workers. In the last four years, one of the policies that's had the most impact on our elderly citizens is our culture and health stations. Many seniors love coming to the stations and enjoying meals together with others of the generation. Four years ago, there were 121 such stations in Taiwan. Now there are more than 400. Policies like this are helping to reverse the youth drain and bring indigenous folk back to their home communities. There are more and more indigenous tribe members returning from places like New Taipei City and Taoyuan to their ancestral lands in Hualien and Taidong. Many hope that the job opportunities for them there will include the chance to go back and take care of the elders of the tribe. At the administration's halfway mark, the council wants to trumpet its successes.